In the recipe we're using today, we're going to make a, a lightly hopped clean ale. So this would be similar to an APA or American Pale Ale, but uh, not as strong flavoured in hops or malt. This is a really good beer to share with friends and family who, uh, who drink more mainstream beers. We're going to be using a tin of Cooper's Australian Pale Ale. Instead of the yeast that comes with it, which is a pretty good yeast anyway, but um, it's just not enough of it, I've, uh, I've got a Safale USO5, and this is a, a premium brewing yeast. It's a really clean ale yeast, and it's a great um, all-rounder for a lot of beer styles. So there's 11 grams in this packet. That's uh, enough for us and what we're doing today. So we're using this. We're going to keep the Cooper's yeast uh, just as a backup in case this one doesn't work. The other ingredient we're using is uh, a kilo of light malt extract. This is going to give uh, a nice malt profile to the beer. So we're also going to add some hops. The hops we're going to use is Cascade. When we go to bottling, we'll be using priming tabs. They look like lollies. They're a measured amount of sugar, so when you add them to the bottle at the correct rate, they're going to give you the right amount of sugar for the perfect carbonation. So you won't get gushing beers, you won't get exploding beer bottles, and you won't get flat beer either. So they will save you time and energy, and that's something I recommend you do. Never use cheap products. Always make sure they look fresh and smell fresh. Uh, I'm really about making good beer that you're proud to show off to your friends and family. This might mean spending a few extra bucks, but when you break it down per beer, uh, it's nothing really, and, uh, and you'll get such a better beer at the end of the day. So we've got our ingredients on hand, but well now we're going to put it all together. 